hold on. Ready. Ideal time probably to start right now is while I'm making this special blend of half and half decaf coffee. Why is it only half and half? Well it's half whatever came in this jar <laughs> and half a different cap pack of um, decaf coffee, coffee that I've now poured in the jar because <laughs> there wasn't enough for a whole cup. Fair enough. So we've got a few things on the go. We've got lunch, tea, coffee and compost. And compost. <laughs> Interestingly, we have um, probably 20 months worth of cocoa core, but it's at my work. Yeah, and apparently it's really heavy, so she won't bring it home. I was going to bring back like just one pack at a time. But so far she's managed no packs. And the toilet's dire. It's so dire that we had to use kitty litter. The cats were very confused. <laughs> they were really con we were really confused. Do we dig it? <laughs> no, we don't. We've tried a few different products in our toilet because we've had it for a few months now. So the first week we used um, the stuff that came in our starter pack. So if you watched our unboxing video, you'll remember that we had the, um, was it cocoa shell? Um, which was the shells from cocoa beans. Uh, and that smelt it. really nice. It smelt lovely. Like chocolate. For a day. Until you use it. Um, and then the chocolate smell fades. But we didn't feel like we had enough. Or we over moistened it. I don't know. Moistened Either way. It. Um, I had the bright idea of topping it up with some um, hamster hamster sawdust. You know the stuff you put in your hamster cage. So it was terrible. Then it, there was a cross contamination, and it was really hot weather. But so we're not it just smelt like hamster oh. cage. And also, we put the we didn't connect the fan. We didn't connect the fan, and. Either way, the then, first, so the first... No, no, no. And then it turns out when we did connect the fan, we left the plug no. from the... That was only the second day. So that... No, pipe. we'll go into that. We'll go into that later. So, um, so we used that cocoa shell stuff for about a week. Um, then we tried this um, compressed cocoa, which coconut is core. yeah the other stuff's cocoa beans like yeah. cocoa beans so basically this stuff but i bought it um on that well-known website that's taken over the world but in a in a brick form not quite in oh actually no the first one we got in pound Poundland. Land. and that worked well and then i bought another one on amazon but it was three pounds something so i was un i was really happy when i found it in Poundland. it worked really well and you just rehydrate it. So then I bought the 20 blocks. Which I are bought them too late, which yeah, are at work. They're, they're at my work. So then we were lucky enough to find that Poundland were shape it, put, still selling it in tile form. <laughs> so, so we're, we're going to hydrate that for you now so that you can see uh, if you do end up composting, uh, what the hydration process involves, because I personally found that quite confusing. Um, I did watch the WINS link, thank you very much, NC Plant Doctor, and um, I did see that um, Nikki was hydrating the core, but I didn't fully understand it until I did it myself, yeah. or how much water to put in, so I'm going to show you that hydration process. A lot of the other videos that I've seen about composting, they use sphagnum peat moss, and I've googled that but I don't know if it's easy to come by in the UK because I couldn't find it because it has to be specifically sphagnum peat moss yeah and I think it then comes in giant giant bags of soil which is fine we could store it here where we are at the moment but longer term it wouldn't work and this is kind of this will be more than enough <laughs> this will be more than enough <laughs> to last us a, a month, month. Um, with some extra over because I put extra in a little kind of top up container. And shall we put forward the one thing that we've learned so far? One thing. <laughs> Don't leave your toilet composting away on its own when you're not here for a long time. No, I, I, that was a mistake. 
But yeah, we'll, t we'll talk about that some more. This is the brick. It's very hard and um, unmalleable. Uh, usually I would put it straight into a bucket and then pour the water on it, wait for about half an hour, get back in there and um, see if I had had any composting, hydration or how much more water I needed. But because you're watching this for the first time, I'm going to show you how it hydrates outside the bucket and then do the bucket thing second. So just to repeat, I don't usually do it on my counter in the kitchen. I'm hey. doing that for you. So do you want to show them? Got your focus okay? That's what the core looks like as you're hydrating it because it, um, it expands, it expands quite a lot. And then after it's hydrated, it actually isn't wet. It's, can you see that? It's, um, it's kind of just like soil. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's not wet. Um, and then all of that takes the moisture in as well. I know Nikki from the winds, she was using gloves when she did hers. I'm not using gloves because Nikki's more of a lady than me. I do like to break off little chunks and put that in because then it just all ends up fitting a little bit better and it speeds it along and it actually is quite nice to play with before it's being put to use, so to speak. And then I'll check back on this in about half an hour. This looks pretty spot on and comes in handy also if you are trying to plant some actual flowers. Or cat grass. <gasps> cat grass! We think we need to plant some cat grass. We happen to have some cat grass. Do not get confused and put that in there. <laughs> 